Hello, people of here. Welcome to the Who Reviews. Today, I am Doctor Who Season 7, Episode 11, The Crimson Horror. In the beginning, it just starts off with the Man of Astra, Jenny, and Strax getting the horror to investigate the disappearance of some people and to find out uh, about the Crimson Horror. This new uh, disease that's just killing people and turn them just get red. Um, the current suspect is Mrs. Giddy Flower, who's like a cult leader for a religious one. So they repent this and get anarchy, death, and other things. Um, and then he just said, they go in to, to see what's happening and signs up to be in her, her town. Then Mrs. Getty Power just wants that, what's it called, perfect people in uh, her town. He just said, it sneaks into a factory that has a, a red um, light rain, uh, lightning on it. And eventually she finds this door where her daughter, uh, uh, Adria, Adria, I don't give an E, has been feeding food to, uh, what food she calls a monster. And so now it's the doctor and he basically, he goes all these moans. I only know. And also turns out that Madame Vastra had seen this type of uh, poison before in, in like uh, the dinosaur times. And the reason they went actually went there is because the last guy that was killed by the uh Prison Horror uh Saw, actually saw the doctor before he died and she was able to have an image of him in his eye before he died, but now. Now. And when the doctor gets all better, he goes then moving around and dead gives that talking usual talk and actually snog dead Jenny and she just slaps him. He deserves it. Then he just said, telling how he and Clara got there. Um, he actually, uh, was helping out a guy that was trying to prove the grim horror is actually killing people. Or, my, my, or, uh, this is getting how it was. Um, he, he and Clara pretend to be a married couple to, um, Went to Miss Gilbert to live in the sweet trail, named after her partner, Mr. Sweets. Well. But then, when Mr. Gilbert tried to uh, put a uh, huge creeping horror on them, to the mind control them, the doctor was supposedly dead, and she uh, told her daughter to put them in the reject pile. Well, he was mostly alive, even, even though it was because uh, he was alien or he was a bit stronger, but whatever. And when, her, when Mrs. Gifford's daughter finds out that Dr. Left, she just horribly upset. And then Mrs. Gifford comes here and just uh, rejects her in her new world. And his daughter just begging her to take her into the new world, but the guns. And then he gives him at the doctor about Clara and he was say uh, replying about by just saying that uh, it's complicated or it's a long story. And there's a fancy find Clara in a glass uh king, I don't know, container, whatever. And basically with a chair. Yeah, seriously? 
It's probably the usual of his episodes. And there's one among the straps where he's trying to find Sweetville, where he's getting lost and plays a horse and just decides to, to kill it, but then there's gonna, uh, chance for his last words. And somehow he can understand horses as well. Uh, then he repeats that boy named uh, Thomas Thomas, who gives him, uh, directions of where Sweetville is, and he's up on board with straps and Rex already followed the directions. So, I don't know how Thomas Thomas is supposed to be a joke on the term uh, Tom Tom. Yeah, another way to describe a number or something. Uh, yeah. uh, when Doctor was trying to get Claire out, uh, some of the followers of uh, the scattered Mrs. Uh, Gleeflower showed up. And then he takes care of them. Yeah, it's not that the fight. This is good. Anyway, uh, then he Strax and the uh, Bachelor shows up. And Strax is a bit hyper. This, uh, he got some, use uh, some weapons and grenades. It's like an old boy at a candy store. Yeah, it's just fun. And after that, when Clara gets out, the uh, doctor explains that Dickard Nor is actually uh, a nectar from the uh, red lizard from a million years ago. Um, they don't really know how it got here, probably survived or evolved. It's, 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 it's uh, survived, but I don't know. And then there's a good scene between the doctor and the Giddy Power's uh, daughter. And she can't really uh, help the doctor. And I guess they tell him who Mr. Sweet is, since, as he said, he's so loyal to her mother, even though she's here like trash. But then there's the conversation between Dr. Clara and the Giddy Flower. This is just a little bit funny. That's the entire where Doctor saying that the the, with the red lizard the power or whatever in the wrong hands, you may get bad things happen. And she's like, you know what these are? The wrong hands. It's funny. It's like a a good sexy Batman villain. They can be serious and goofy at the same time. I don't know. And that's when she just uh, admits that uh, the, re the reason why her daughter is blind to use her as a guinea pig to make an acting costume for herself since uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Sweet is uh, sucking on her life force since she has a symbiotic relationship. And her daughter is uh, there with the uh, town doctor and says she said that the reason she's blind because her father did some work with a bottle. And there's a great scene where she's just all quiet at first and when her mother admits that she did it, she's just all loud and angry and beat her with her walking cane. It's just, it's funny and out of nowhere. It's a good type of out of nowhere situation. And third out, the Giddy Power's plan is to say, launch a rocket to let loose the prison horror to destroy all the young while all of her uh, people are just uh, hibernating under the factory and then she to wake them up uh, into a new world. But then Clara just destroys the thing to control the, ro uh, control the rocket. With a chair. There you go. And then Skipper takes her daughter as a hostage by putting a gun on her and running away. And Doctor just uh, breaks a window with chair again. Again, chair is useful in this uh, episode. And then see they catch up with get Giddy Tower. And they do stop the rocket. Uh, 
<laughs> and this after rocket, then the structure here suits Agri Fire and he falls up the stairs and dies. And Mrs. Mr. Shree to that get off her since he doesn't get any more since he's dying he's dying. Uh -huh. when the doctor does that say what he might do with the lizard like to send it back to the Jurassic era Kitty Power the sort of destroys it with where it came. Oh my god. It's just it's just funny. Anyway, the doctor just said goodbye to Kitty Power's daughter and the the Pan Master Kang and then he again asks about Clara and Luke's what they he said no. And there's a funny part before he leaves where Buck said that uh, Clara is the boss and he's like, Oh, am I now? And he just knows that there's gonna be trouble and he thinks he's the boss. And he just uh, takes it back. And then just so uh, the doctor brings Clara back to her well not that exactly but back to her house I said how where he bakes it certain kids. And then see the laptop with a picture of herself from the 1970s but don't know it's her. And then the kids that go after shows up and realizing that she's not time forever and sees all the pictures with her in it and just slips out to when she sees a picture of her in the uh, Victorian London where she was actually in Victorian that uh, Dixon? Dixon? I don't know, I don't give it a And the kids are asked to go on the time travel trip with her, and when she declines it, they just threaten to tell her dad, their dad, their dad, that their nanny is a time traveler. And in the next episode, the kids are going along. Uh, what did that actually believe them if they said that Kyle was a time traveler? What do you say that the kids or just abandoning things. I can't see just said that the that the pictures of or maybe of her ancestors. Come on. Ugh, no. Anyway, other than the end of this that episode it goes great written by uh, Mark uh, Gates, that that is whatever. And this is honestly a, a tribute to uh, the uh, 1960s uh, series, The Avengers, and it's kind of obvious because uh, uh, in one scene the Doctor is wearing a bowl of hat, like uh, Mr. Smith from it, and then he's wearing a cat suit, like the female character in it. Actually, the actor that plays the female character also plays that uh, also plays that uh, this is Giddy Power in this. And not to say her daughter is her daughter. They say it says what you have so much of country. And I wonder if you brought up from a from a man realize it well at some point. But, and that thing is just great as always. Oh yeah, there's a few scenes is when uh, the person that hired the Pan Master can look into it and give her just thing. Either when he first sees the battery with her veil up, or when he sees the straps, or when he just sees the tires going off. It was funny the fourth few times, but the last time, not so much. Uh, I don't know. I was just going to see the Pan Master Gang again. I hear they were get from the TV series, but I guess the, the, they decide to just leave it since maybe they couldn't think of anything good for him to do, but whatever. Um, this would be one of the best episodes of season, probably second or third favorite. So, yeah. Anyway, I give the episode an 8 out of 10. And as I said, the next episode, Claire's kids are going to be in it, and the doctor brings them to his face. A amusement park. I remember Neil Gaiman, the writer that wrote the last season, the Doctor's Wife, and wrote a few issues of that Sandman, and wrote the movie Caroline. 
So I'm ready for the Iron Man in this one. Oh boy! Hopefully, it's good. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.